Here we go. Okay, so how many of your younger siblings um, usually have their heads stick in uh, a technological device? No one has younger siblings? <laughs> well, I remember when I was younger, um, me and my siblings didn't really have a lot of technological devices. So we would often play outside and we would see um, all the kids in our neighborhood like play outside as well. And it's something we don't really see that often anymore. So according to BBC.com 2015, um, children from the ages five to 16 spend about six and a half hours um, in front of a screen, whether it's a telephone, a computer, a television. So for my presentation, I'll be reviewing how technology causes kids to um, be physically and mentally lazy. Um, the solution, which is um, what parents could do to solve this, or really help um, kids not be too attached to technology, and how the outcome will um, be that they will become more active and healthy. So um, over the years, technology has uh, um, dramatically advanced. Um, becoming becoming one of the one of the biggest obsessions for children, causing them to be um, mentally and physically lazy. <coughs> so mental and physical laziness. So according to Ackman, 20, 2003, um, children, since at, at that age they're still their brain is still developing and their bodies are still developing, they should be spending more time outdoors and having social interactions with other children or with their parents, not um, using too much technology. Often they choose um, screen time over outdoor and physical activity and it could lead to serious health problems. Um, according to Kurtz from torontosun.com 2012, um, children's grade study are as if they're based on their social network or on their favorite search engine because they could literally find anything. They're not using it for the right reasons. They're looking up um, things that they could easily figure out themselves. So they're just being lazy and they're not they're not really thinking for themselves, which is really affecting their grades at grades in school. So what parents could do to help this is um, really limit their um, spend time using electronics. According to Dunkley, 2015, from psychologytoday.com, um, says that parents are the ones, parents are, if the parents are lazy, the children are lazy. Like parents um, are the ones that, if they want their child to be calm and sit down, they're the ones that give them the like, electronic device. Instead of taking them outside to play or something. Um, and, According to Seville 2017 from woman.com, um, parents could um, take them out, like instead of a movie night, they could take them out, or they could um, encourage outdoors of act outdoor activities and also like invite their friends over so they can have interactions with them, or take them out anywhere just so they won't be at home wanting to be on their technological device all the time. Um, uh, they could also encourage um, other ways of having fun. Not, they don't have to go out. They could play board, play board games. And then the outcome is, um, according to league, 
2015 from MotherEarthLiving.com. Um, in a study of 1,000 or more children, um, it was said that children 12 years and younger who spend two hours or more are more likely to have um, psychological problems or like mind problems. And so this, this would really limiting children to use technology would really help them um, be prone to getting mental illnesses in the future. There are, there are many um, illnesses like ob obesity, attention deficit, cognitive delays, and impaired learning. Um, according to Rawson 2011, um, because of this, um, a lot of children are having a hard time developing because they're not outdoors um, doing physical activities. They're just sitting down. So they don't, their health worsens and their development just stops. And it could also um, improve their grades in school. So in conclusion, um, we discussed how techno technology causes kids to be physically and mentally ill and physically and mentally lazy and um, the solution on what parents could do to help this and how it, it really has a positive outcome. Um, I recommend you guys to watch Screen Agers, which is a documentary on how um, uh, younger children um, are addicted to technology and how the parents deal with it.